in today's episode we are finally uh, trying to replace the oil pan gasket on this BMW E90 I have to uh, tell you that uh, please don't do this job if you are afraid to jack up the car or if you don't know how to jack up the car because you have to work under the engine and the engine will be in lifted in the air supported by this piece and the car itself supported by the jack uh, stand so this is a very risky job very very dangerous that's why this video uh, will not be any tutorial of any kind and uh, now I'm gonna start the video. Enjoy! Now that I have the tow hook from the E39 with this one uh, I can lift the engine. I put everything, everything is tight. Now I have to go underneath to start removing some parts we have to remove this plastic cover the other one plastic cover removed uh, everything was 8 mil in here and just a 10 mil this nut the same on this side everything was with 8 mil tight and uh, we have a 10 mil in here yeah okay now we have access to this crossbar everything in here should be 16 mil socket yeah and uh, let's see okay that's one Okay, and the last one I hope is not going to fall on my head. Okay, so I need two hands, but it's out. Here under the front bumper it was a plastic cover just to 8 mil. I removed that, it's right there. Now I'm going to remove the control arms from the subframe, not from the spindle. I have to remove this one, it's 18 mil. This one as well. After that I'm going to remove this bar, yeah. That's 17 mil I think. I can remove this completely after that. This side is done. Yep. This as well. Okay, now we have to remove this 13 nuts. 13 mil nuts. 13. Oops, that's one. The second one. Okay, and I have to use two hands because I don't want to fall in my head. Okay, and we are starting with the other ones. Okay, this should come off. Yep. Now this one. Okay, let's move to this side. Okay, it's out. 
and I have to yeah I need to hand in here it's out it's out everything on this side is out but I've kind of uh, noticed now that I had to do that first because now it's moving the steering rack yeah and I'm not sure if I want to I will be able to unbolt that now I'm gonna try if not like this in here I'm gonna uh, put something underneath and after that I'm going to oops oh I've got that on camera oh yeah so now I have to remove just the steering rack and the engine mount and after that I can start removing the subframe and this is the setup for the steering rack you will need a T40 you have to put it inside the uh, bolt yeah and the 21 spanner and uh, you can undo this and of course this side is giving me some problems um, I welded a bolt in here because I couldn't take this uh, nut out and uh, I hope this is going to be strong enough let's see how it goes and it's out <laughs> Sadly, I had to cut the nut because there was no way to take it out. We have to remove this uh, torque. Yeah, torque screw in there. I think it's T30. Yeah, of course, there is another one right in there. Yeah, as you can see, I put a lot of tools to reach that. Normally, you can lower a little bit the subframe and after that because you will have more space but I managed to do uh, this like like this in this setup yeah now engine mount E12 tool so okay that's one come on Second one, hey, come on. Okay, the other side. Okay, and the last one. Hey. good now I'm going to recheck everything I think I, I lose everything so yeah the steering rack this oil lines uh, this water line if everything is okay I'm going to start removing the subframe bolt and I'm going to put um, a jack underneath because I don't want to die in here <laughs> And oil, of course. Now I can remove the plug. Yeah, it's like brand new because I changed the oil. Now, moment of truth, the subframe is uh, with the jack, now let's remove the bolt. Okay, that's one. Second one, and so on. It's finally out. After a, a few minutes of struggle, it's out. Now we have to go and uh, take out the oil pan, of course. There is no time to lose because we have a few bolts. I've uh, 
took out this side completely and I have a few in this corner and the oil pan should come off and uh, I put it in the order they was in the car in the car but it doesn't matter because I'm going to change all the bolts yeah with the new ones and uh, as you can see we have just uh, five that are different and longer and in order to remove the bolts from the oil pan you will need E12 but I just have a uh, so big tool and uh, after you lose the bolts you can use a 10 millimeter socket as well now I think I removed everything I'm gonna try to take the oil pan out and it's finally out the oil pan is right in there and in here is not that bad as I thought yep we have some deposit in here and here and in this part but other than that it's clean of course I've cleaned everything the oil pan is clean I have the new gasket in here the new bolts and I'm going to put some silicon on the oil pan just to keep the the gasket till I put it on the engine this is the next morning um, now I'm going to jump underneath to uh, clean everything uh, because I have daylight now and I see better than yesterday um, I just want to show you something first after you remove all the bolts from the oil pan you will have I didn't show you these three you have one in here one in here in these two it's a bracket you have to remove that bracket and after that is going to remain another one in here is very tight uh, between the gearbox and the engine you have to remove this as well and after that you can lower the oil pan it's finally in I've tight everything I hope everything is okay I am going to recheck everything and uh, like I've said this bracket goes in here you will have one hole another one and the third one it's right up in there let me try to show you huh. yeah right in there yeah this uh, bolts the oil pan gasket to the um, automatic transmission it's very tight normally normally you can lower a little bit the engine but I've managed to do like this with a swivel head 8 mil uh, socket and uh, from here I'm gonna tight and uh, just a second to show you my tool I've used this tool and you have to tie it to 8 newton meters 8 yeah uh, I've tied to 8.3 newton meters because I've I've put some silicon as you can see in there and I didn't want to push uh, the silicone to push a little bit to expand yeah that's why I tie to 8.3 uh, Newton meters we are done in here boys we are done so subframe installed control arms tie rods but uh, just to keep the if the spindle straight uh, because this one is cut and I have to receive the new part and after that I have to align the car and I think just tomorrow I will receive my uh, tie rods and till tomorrow everything will remain in, in here like this no oil inside nothing till tomorrow the silicon is gonna be dry and uh, I'm gonna put uh, oil tie rods and start the car to see if we have any leaks I'm pretty sure that we won't have any leaks because everything is new is uh, done by the book of course I forgot something let me try to show you in there just a second yeah see that I forgot forgot to tight that uh, bolt and for that I have to remove the air box now now you can see here clearly what I was talking about I removed the air box and in there you see we will ha you will have a T30 for the oil lines one in there and two in the front 
one here and another one right in there oh yeah and i've uh, removed the engine support yeah it's already past a few hours more than six hours i think and uh, i'm going to put something cheap for now because i'm going to use a flush as well because i've cleaned everything underneath and i don't want to uh, go in the whole engine that's why i'm going to use some cheap oil yeah um, but you can see in here bmw long life uh, now i have to wait till tomorrow to see if we have any oil leak yeah it sounds a little bit funny because i just started the car and uh, the car was completely drained out of oil yeah so it's gonna take half a minute or something like that till the oil reach ev reaches everywhere and like I said, I'm going to give you an update tomorrow morning to see if we have a leak or we don't. Another day, another hope <laughs> that everything is okay. So I'm going underneath the car for the first time and we are going to see together if everything is okay or not. Yep. So yeah, moment of truth. If the car run for 10-15 minutes and now we can see if we have any leaks starting from here everything seems to be dry yeah in here as well nice nice let's see in here yep everything is dry and should be dry because everything is new yeah yeah it doesn't look that good uh, the silicon but i had to do that because uh, it was very tight in here until you put the oil pan the gasket will slide and that's why i had to do the silicon i'm <laughs> quite happy finally i wanted to do this job for a year almost a year now and now it's done I'm going to drive like this without the shield or anything underneath just to follow uh, in a week if I have a, a leak or not but I can say job done <laughs>